Welcome to the moment of truth, Pastor Adeboye or Dr. Adeboye. As um, it's on the radar again on the news for another criticism, condemnation, because um, you saw him there sitting on the throne of Olubon, of Iluigbon. I don't know why Pastor Deboye likes all these um, controversies, all this wahala. He just likes his name to be dragging here and there. I have no, I, I, I have, I, 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 I don't understand. And um, you remember the uh, the uh, the uh, king of uh, Obomo Shon knelt before him and everybody was displeased ah there was a lot of noises on the on the on social media people were saying all sort of things and all that and you know he has already told us that he wanted one religion he told us i've done a video about it and uh, some of the veteran pastors were not pleased about it he said he should come out and apologize and everything. So he ignored everybody. Pastor Adeboye is high and mighty. He's above everybody. Even when Buhari won, um, put out a law there, I think in 2018, that the churches will be paying taxes or something, they want to pop no sin to churches as here. Everybody was happy about it. You know? He just pay one visit to Buhari and we didn't hear about all that again. So that's why people think is God, is a God, is a mighty, he can do whatever he likes. But I think he's getting too much now. And people that does not know where Pastor Adeboye belongs, I think by now they should know where he belongs. Because even the Bible tells us. To give what belongs to God to God and what belongs to Kesari to Kesari. His members supported him. They said he's also a king. Yeah, the Bible says we are a royal priesthood, we are a peculiar person. But that is for someone in Christ. Not to go to outside the Christ and go to other people's religion and uh, other people's throne and start trending on them anyhow just to stir up noises and criticism and set yourself up for a dragon traditional rulers have their own rights if you know what i mean because to be a traditional king ruler they've made some hopes and uh, to 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 deities to the gods of the lands because they are ruling their own terrain, if you know what I mean. So they are kings. They are not supposed to be kneeling down to other, to ordinary pastor. Pastor Adebo is just a pastor. But in the street realm, it's more than what people think he is. For the kings that has an oath with the gods of the land to be now bowed down to him, mm -mm, that is not God. That is not God. It's not even biblical. We have no business with traditional rulers because they have their own belief. I even God respect, Jesus respect their own belief because he said, give what belongs to God to God and what belongs to Kesari to Kesari. So I don't know why Pastor Deboye is mixing everything together and is causing all these troubles here and there and people will be, some people will back him up, some people will Say no, it's not of God. We already know that. I've done a lot of videos that <laughs> Pastor Deboye does not belong to God. He used his own mouth to tell him the places he has been and his life, his, his life style and all that. So, my people, what do you think? This is another monarch now that left his throne and allowed Pastor Deboye to first of all sit there and he was kind of making prayer or sanctifying the place or that. No, God is not in all these places. Jesus is not in all these places because he made it clear to us. 
we believers in Christ, our role, and the Bible is our guidance. A Bible is our um, is our um, ah Bible is, is our example. Is 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 the word of God, and is what the, the the Christian follows. So I I don't know. I saw all this. I said let me bring it to my people because one of my followers actually sent it to my inbox, but I've already downloaded it before she sent it. So kudos to MDA. Thank you for that. Because it concerns them. That's why they want me to talk about it. And I want all the believers, the, the Bible scholars, I want you to say something about it. Just comments. Because people put their head under Pastor Adeboye. And it's, it's, it's not healthy for them. Life is being lost under this man. And um, that's all I can say. Because we get it too much now. We've been screaming, we've been shouting about all these men. So now... They are coming out gradually to tell us where they belong because you cannot serve two gods. I will see you on my next video. Bye for now.